And in this video, I wanted to talk about a more serious type of mistake, and that is in applying to register a trademark that is not distinctive. So distinctiveness is really um, the concept that a trademark is inherently capable of identifying just a single source of products and services. So you don't want your trademark um, to be not capable of basically identifying your business and what you're selling. And so you want to make sure that you are picking a trademark that is inherently capable of identifying just one single business as the source of products or services. So there are particular words and terms that are just inherently incapable of identifying only a single source. Descriptive words, so words basically that um, talk about um, a, a feature, trait, or characteristic of products or services are not capable of, of identifying a single source, and these words and terms are generally considered not to be distinctive. Geographic words are generally considered not to be distinctive because any company from that area can use descript can use a descriptive word in their advertising. And so it's not capable, a descriptive word is not capable of just identifying one particular company. Um, surnames and personal names are generally considered to be not inherently distinctive and they don't function as great trademarks unless you're a celebrity and you have attained a certain level of fame and you can prove that. Um, generally speaking, trademarks that consist of surnames and personal names of individuals aren't inherently distinctive. Generic words that are common in your industry don't function well as trademarks and so they are generally considered to be not distinctive. Words that kind of speak to a high quality, um, like premium or super, these words generally aren't capable of identi identifying a single source of products and services. And they should basically, and they are basically open to everybody to use in marketing. So it's important that you pick a trademark that is capable of distinctiveness, and that is identifying your company as the source of products and services, and that you only waste your time or you only spend your time applying to register trademarks that are distinctive. Because unfortunately, it's taking two to three years for the Canadian Trademarks Office to examine trademark applications. And so if you file a trademark application believing that you are entitled to register it and the Trademarks Office disagrees and thinks that that mark is not inherently distinctive and it should be open to anybody to use, you're not going to find that out for a couple of years. And you've now potentially wasted a lot of time and resources into a brand that you can never own. So this is one of the most common mistakes that we see in trademark applications, and it is people applying to register trademarks that just aren't inherently distinctive and they can never own. If you are wondering if your trademark meets the inherent registrability criteria of distinctiveness, book a free consult with us. We are happy to give you our kind of educated view on whether your trademark meets the minimum registrability criteria for trademarks under Canadian law.